Uh, I think uh, first, uh, I hope we'll try to go to win the uh, Tiger Cup. If we don't win, in football is everything possible. You know, you can win, we can uh, lose this. But, uh, how say, uh, I expect players to give 100%. If people come to support, that's absolutely great. That we all together win. If this don't happen, we'll see. But uh, I think uh, a lot of those players they are now with national team uh, will continue, uh, and we uh, should organize few international games for them next year because uh, it's not any in the, uh, official competition. Uh, but still. If you look this team now, uh, from this team at least 14 players can play in C games. And that was as well our long-term target when I uh, came, uh, 83, to slowly build up that team to uh, get ready for C games. Uh, this is connect a lot with the Young Lions team. And that team will continue to play in S League. And from uh, uh, June, July, in S League, will Young Lions be actually team uh, for C Games? This means uh, that this orientation of those young players uh, will be in focus and will be uh, more work with them uh, because I think uh, we can make good team uh, and we can uh, go for uh, C Games. At the same time, uh, those C games uh, really should establish future first team. Uh, and I'll say, uh, in football, it's always long term when you're looking. 2006 uh, is Asian Olympic Games in Qatar, and I th uh, again, when you look, is continuity of this team because most of them, they will be uh, for, uh, um, let's say, uh, age group for uh, that team under 23 for Asian Olympic Games in Qatar. And I think it's very Im imperative to uh, send team there to play Asian Games in Qatar 2006, because that's definitely should be team who will start World Cup qualification and first Asian qualification and in after one year a World Cup qualification. Uh, actually, in, in, I'll say in uh, uh, 2005 and 2006 should be that critical selection of players uh, for that long-term uh, target to try to qualify for World Cup.